Hi everybody. I'm going to show you today how to make short nails look a bit longer. So, as you can see, my nails are a bit shorter than they were before. And first of all, I'm going to start, as always, with my base coat. And it's by number 17. And I'm just going to paint each nail with that. Again, remembering to start with the little finger so that your other hand doesn't smudge on its way past. Okay, so that's those four fingers done. I'm going to go off and do the rest and come back and show you how to make your nails look longer. And I'm going to be using a nice dark polish. So I'll talk to you all in a minute. Okay, so I'm back and I've painted all of my nails with my clear base coat. And now I'm going to take my top coat, or my main colour, sorry. And it's this one, and it's purple, and it's by Ruby and Millie. It actually looks a bit black on here but if you can see that it's actually purple it's a really lovely colour it's especially nice for toes in the summer but it's nice on fingernails as well so it's quite a dramatic colour so it'll need to be applied very well so I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wipe off one side of the brush and I'm going to start with my little finger and I'm going to paint down the nail and I'm not going all the way to the cuticles and I'm not going all the way to the edges because I want to give the illusion of length and if I miss a little bit of the edges like that if you can see it does make it look very slightly longer than it actually is so I'm going to do the same again with the next nail and I'm not going right down to the cuticles because apart from anything that makes a mess and again I'm not going right out to the edges and I'm trying to do it in three strokes and you can see it does look slightly longer than it actually is and when you get to the middle nail it's going to take more than three strokes because it is a wider nail. But you're still not going down the edges. Leave those blank if you can see. And it does just create a little illusion of length. And just carry on through your whole hands all of your fingers and your thumbs until you're finished so I'm going to go off and do the rest of the nails and come back and show you the finished result and as you can see from this that's only one coat I've put on and that's all I will need I'll just use one coat and then a top coat and it'll be perfect so I'll come back and show you the finished nails in a minute okay so I'm back and I have painted all of my nails and as you can see, I've left the sides unpainted, very slight margin down the outside of each nail. And I haven't gone right into the cuticles to stop it looking messy. And it does look slightly longer than they did before I started. But you can decide that for yourself. I think it looks better and it is a good tip for making your nails look longer when they're short. So now all I have to do is add my top coat. I have only used one coat of this Ruby and Millie nail polish like I said I would and it is pretty good for one coat and I'm going to add my top coat and that just seals everything in stops it getting scratched and makes it last a bit longer and my favourite top coat of the minute is Barry M and that's actually called Base Coat, Top Coat and Nail Hardener so I'm going to go off and do that and that's my nails finished so thanks everyone for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.